Hey YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Father's Day. This is a brand new game from uh, Emika Games, who you might remember made several games that we played in the past. They made Find Yourself, they made Summer of 58, and they made Locked Up, which were all uh, some of the first horror games I actually played on the channel, which I very much enjoyed. And now they are here with a new title that we're going to be checking out called Father's Day. So I'm very excited to hop in, check it out. It literally came out like two hours, a day, uh, two hours ago, so I have no idea what it's about, but I am excited to hop in. I hope you join us. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Let's go. Boom. Oh, baby. Here we are. I see a house. Oh, wait, I'm walking. <laughs> I was like, I see, I see the house that I was looking at on the title screen in the distance. Do I have a flashlight? No, I'm just in darkness. Escapey hands up. Thank you for the three gift subs. Okay. What did I just walk on? What the hell is the sound? Very good intro. I don't want that light to turn off. Please don't do it. Can I sprint? What is that? Boom. Is the door gonna open? Someone is slapping. I'm already loving this. I don't know if I'm loving this. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. Don't, don't knock me out before I get into the house, please. I really want to see what's in the red door. I don't know what the sound is. The <laughs> what makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Dude, what an intro? Holy shit. <laughs> That's pretty good stuff, man. Uh, yes. Oh, wait, I clicked escape. Probably not the good idea. I was just waiting for the text to go away. Why can't they let him go? Parental home, first date, family picnic, going to the city with fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you are happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. Clicking spacebar. I think this game is made for slow readers. I'm sorry, I'm reading too fast. <laughs> Also, okay, I should probably not start an anecdote while I'm waiting for the text to go away. Uh, how to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world. Because the developer... Okay, I, I think I can go here. So the developer of this game actually uh, was... Oh, never mind. Phil, you have to. Phil? I'm Phil? The most generic game of all time. The generic game? Generic name of all time. Anyone named Phil in the chat? Phil, rise up. Hey, Momo, thank you for the gift sub. Act one. The past cannot be changed. Changed free the future. Okay. Here we are. We got chapters and everything. It's like a movie. Fill over here. Rosie, thank you for the five months. Oh, am I walking already? Oh, here we go. And make a game. So if you weren't, <laughs> you then already listened to my intro. There you go. Uh, Act one. It is extremely dark. One second, let me quickly see if turning up this to three does help in the end. Because it was 23 at the start, right? So let's stick to the de default. Okay. Uh, that, that is... That's adequate brightness. Can I pick up the candle? Oh, I can zoom in. What is this sound? Why does it sound like there's whispering in my own house? Hello? What the hell? Is this the PT hallway? <laughs> it looks like the PT hallway. Excuse me? Am I in PT? Locked up developer. Yes, indeed. Locked up, Summer 58, and, uh... I mean, there's several other games that I didn't play yet. Uh, this very much reminds me of PT, by the way. Oh, we got a flashlight. Let's go. That's how it's done. So this developer was actually almost gonna stop making games because people refunded their games so much, which, uh, if you don't know, is actually a problem with short horror games that they can sometimes be finished in less than two hours, which means that... Uh, oh, the missing child. The police are looking for the boy. He didn't come home from a walk. Name JJ, age 10 years old, height 551? I don't know these. I don't know these numbers. Body type, average build, eye color, gray. Gray? Uh, last seen Monday, June 19, 2000? Okay. 51 inches. Oh, I, I'm used to being like one thing and then another thing if it's like, uh weird units weird uh us units i was actually unaware i'm gonna go on so many tangents but i was unaware just how few places actually use the <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i'm terrified can i go in here 
No one's home. Achievement. I'm. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to make you upset. Uh, am I supposed to just go home and sit in my own house? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why I went outside in the first place. What is this house? Is this just a is this just a bathtub? Like that's the house? Oh wait, there's a room back there. That room wasn't open before. It is truly PT. Okay, what was I saying? I was really unaware just how few places actually use like miles and the empirical or the empirical system. I think it's called. There's only three places on the planet that use the imperial system: the U.S. and two like random nations in Africa and like in Asia somewhere. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? I have spent several years developing a time machine! I'm almost close to completion. What the fuck? <laughs> time machine? To do. I can't read it. Oh, it's probably not. Soup? Stops. Need to pick up the order. I cannot. Call mom. You gotta call your mom. Uh, this time machine? This is like that one scene in, in Marvel. Where they just like go, oh, I invented the time machine. I invented a time machine. I just had to, uh, what the fuck? I don't know if I'm going crazy or if there was, a did I go down the stairs before? I think I did. Also, who is calling me this aggressively? Jeebus. Calm down. Yes, I get it. I'm coming. Oh my God. The pizza delivery is insane. And you just ran away anyway. What the hell is, also. I would like to pick this up, but I would also like to see this. What is this? Oh, there's a there's a thing right there. Did you get eviction notice? Uh oh, <laughs> maybe. Well, can, I can't close my door. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna leave it open. I don't know where I'm bringing this. I'm probably bringing this to my time machine. Uh, but as I was explaining, oh, you can glitch this into objects. Uh, this developer almost quit making games because people would refund their games And I was thinking about how could we prevent situations like that in the future? I wish there was like a setting that developers could uh, Select where they can say like okay my game is less than two hours people are not allowed to refund my games I think that would be a really good way and then and then like people get a warning when they purchase the game It'll be like warning you're about to buy a game that's less than two hours You cannot refund this game if you decide to purchase it. I think that would be like solve every single issue so I I, I hope to see something like that in the future for short games like this because I uh, They can they don't I feel like people would use it if they could I have a light bulb No, I think they shouldn't reduce the time uh, Overall, oh, can I click on this button? Did I just put it in I, I right clicked I right clicked and it did something I lost my light bulb. I oh I put it in right there Okay, I'm a genius. I built the machine. That was all I had now what? Now I click on the big big button. Can I go out here? I cannot go out here. Uh, I would like to go time travel, please. Could I could I look at my notes real quick? Look at this computer. Oh, uh huh. My dear son, we will be together soon, Ethan. Uh huh. Is that me? Is that me as a child? It kind of looks like me. Uh, for my son. Close the door. I can't close the door. Ethan, uh, I need okay meeting at f at three time management team building toilet situ. What is the toilet situation? What's wrong with the toilet? Who is whispering at me? All right, I'm gonna close my door real quick while you're just uh, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do uh, Like in terms of time machine creation. I thought you would explain that to me, you know This is truly the PT house By the way, can I oh this sound I remember that door what the fuck? <laughs> you shit child! You little rascal! Why did, why did you run this way? Is Are you in here? Hello? This door was never open. Did I just get... Did I just get a ghost child to, to ring? My... I hear whispering. Alright, I'm gonna close this door now. And just go back as if nothing ever happened. Also, you can't run in this game. This guy's just chilling. I mean, to be fair, who really runs in their own? You can't run in your anywhere except down the stairs. The only acceptable place to run is either catching a bus or like going down the stairs. Because everyone runs down the stairs. All right, can I turn on this machine now? Aha! 
There we go. That's what I tried earlier. What the hell? Am I just gonna go? I mean, what could go wrong, right? I just created a time machine. I'm gonna test it. Not just, like, try and test it by sending, like, an apple into the future or the past or something like that. And, like, testing if it works that way. No, we're just gonna go full on jump in ourselves. Seems like a great idea. It doesn't work. Oh, it's, it's, an e it's like a nether portal. You gotta stand in it. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it's just not working. <laughs> Excuse me. I was expecting some big thing to show to happen. Unless I'm like going a million years into the past. Unless it's like so fast. It might have already worked. And I'm like, I'm like. I'm going to get like. Uh, I'm like back in World War Two now. That'd be. That'd be surprising. Um, Hello. I'm ba back in the summer of 58. Maybe that. Maybe it's gonna be a reference to there to the other game. All right, do I? I open the door and there's a fucking dinosaur. Is this missing child still here? Okay, so I don't know. I guess I. Uh. Anything else? It's like uh, how to draw Elsa from Frozen in five million easy steps. Start with drawing a circle. Mina Paula, thank you for the five gift subs. Or five months, sorry, not gift subs. But <laughs> thank you all the same. Okay, can I uh, open this door now? Stay inside the portal. It truly is a nether portal. Did I not do the steps correctly? All right, I'm going to stay in, stay in the portal. I don't think... Unless... The SpongeBob meme. I don't think your time machine is working. It looks pretty cool, I gotta, I gotta say. I, like, great job making a nice light show, but I don't think it's actually doing anything. I can't leave, right? Okay, so what, what exactly is there for me to do? Can I pick up your newspaper? Aha, maybe I didn't do that. A child has disappeared. His name is JJ. 10 years old, blonde hair, height about 130 centimeters, normal build. The family saw JJ for the last time in the morning when he went to play with his friends. If you have any information, contact the police department of your city okay now i feel like something is going to be changed i think i should should have just picked up the, the newspaper that's the thing you got to do in pt games you got to interact with anything because anything might further the plot you never know but i'm not sure i'm not sure anything in here nothing is in here i can i can swoop the doop the doors am i reading some some books Newspaper again? That's it. Wait, the boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents and was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on a holiday with his father. Wait, so I think all the games are kind of connected because this is literally the, the story of the game, of one of the games he made. I think it was Find Yourself? There's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Okay, because that is related to one of the other games he, he made. Now can I go through the portal? Maybe I just had to collect all the lore. Now it's portal time. No, it's still not portal time. Okay, so wait a minute. Some of the boxes change. Oh, wait a minute. You are so much better at observing than I am. What the hell? The boxes are only... I did not see that at all. That's sick. Excuse me? It's a non-Euclidean space. Well, it's a time machine, right? Can I pick up... Do I gotta pick up something from the past? Because I can't go around the portal. But maybe I gotta pick up one of these boxes. No? Oh! Excuse me? I broke the time machine? What have I done? I created boxes out of nothing? I don't know what I did, but I did something, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello? The door's locked. Can I turn it back on, please? Ow, I died. <laughs> okay, dude. Well, <laughs> it was a short game. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about refunding, but I can't do that. That's, that's a low blow. They thought it was safer inside. <laughs> Dispatcher, Henry, look, look around this, this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads. Is this the clown house? Please. 
Henry accepted. I mean, I'm already here anyway. Might as well check it out. Do I have a flashlight? I do not have a flashlight. Lighting is awesome. Pumpkins, two dollars. Fuck, I forgot my flashlight. You are stupid. Did you forget it in the truck or did you just forget it entirely? You just forgot your flashlight entirely? How does that happen? Do you not have it like in the truck? That's like like nowadays in 2020, 2022, you gotta have a, like a mask in your car at all times because you never know when you're about to enter a place where they don't allow you to enter. Oh, well convenient. There's a flashlight right here. Oh no, the cinematic bars. Henry, the police, open the door. Uh, that's Henry was not supposed to be said. That was actually me, my name. Henry and Phil, what other classic names are we gonna see in this game? Oh, I know this place. <laughs> that is truly from the other game. That is the house the clown, or that is the place the clown was chasing you. I remember that, was this. Uh, circus performance this Sunday, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, that's the name of the game. I'm waiting for you. Excuse me? Creep. Is that a gamer Ferris wheel? It has some RGB lights on it. Yes, must be a gamer Ferris wheel. Cannot open this door either. How useless am I? Uh, maybe this. Sh maybe the back door's open. Nope. Oh, open the door! Police, stop right there! This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one has lived here for a long time. I mean, there's. Okay, take a look around. Someone in here? There's still toast in the toaster! Why did they leave the toast? I'm gonna go over here. So don't worry, by the way, if you're like, well, I didn't watch the previous game. I'm gonna be so... So lost. Uh, excuse me, lady. Because, uh, I mean, you... Because it was... I, I remember that game. I actually speed ran it, too, because it had some really cool jump scares and, like, ways the game worked. I really enjoyed that game. Um... Yeah, okay, that's normal. <laughs> I'm just, that's a screenshot right there. What the fuck? Can I... This is... Can I just call this in? The last thing I can do is ask for help. Help me get them back. It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me, but not the same as before. She is angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. Um... Excuse me? Am I go... If I go back, am I gonna get killed? Oh, there's a demon book right there. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get jumped. Uh, the door's open now. Ugh. Do I have a gun? Are we in the US? I mean, police always has a gun. What am I saying? Jesus Christ. I should probably open that up. She probably talked to the person that might be stuck in this to boarded up toilet. The statue is not gone. No, it's still there. Mom, I'm scared. Mom, come pick me up. I'm at an abandoned house and the door just opened. Um, someone sitting upstairs. That's some fucked up. Hello, who's there? It's gonna be a mannequin, I'm telling you right now. Need a ladder to climb up? These eggs are probably... Oh, there's... There's leeches eating... <laughs> are those leeches? There's a fire right here. Uh, matches. I'll take the matches. Thank you very much. Collecting loot. For my uh, survival game. Uh, there's a lot of food here. Canned food. I, I never understood shit like this. Like even as a like, as a person who, uh, I mean, I like doesn't mind eating meat now and then. Having a fucking dead animal on your wall is insane. <laughs> like, are you fucked up? Oh. What? I'm locked in by mannequins. Excuse me. Hey, ladies. Um, what are you guys doing out here? Wait, 
what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me? Can I get some firewood? I'm just trying to find a ladder. Any ladder? Booba. Cue to Booba. There's a there's an axe. I should grab that. Um, I don't. Am I blind? You guys see a ladder anywhere? I don't remember a ladder. Maybe behind the. Nope, not behind here. Um. Yes. There you go. I fucking knew it. Oh. Looks like I can burn the ropes. That is not would not be the first thing I thought. I would think to like remove the ropes. I need to find matches and gasoline. I've seen gasoline. It was next to the pumpkins. I remember because I was like, that is not a pumpkin. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. Burn it all. Burn the rope. I don't think that's a very safe thing to do, but hey. Uh, I don't think... Oh, hi there. What are the mannequins doing everywhere? I don't remember. Was that in the previous game? I don't remember. Oh. Uh, excuse me. The mannequins are alive or someone is trolling me. I don't know what, just, what is worse. Probably the mannequins being alive is a little worse. <laughs> uh oh. Now, is there still going to be someone up there? No, not anymore. <laughs> I almost got jump scared by the ladder placement. <laughs> okay, that is creepy. What the fuck? I'm taking a screenshot. Ugh. The culprit in the accident on the Highway 58, that's related to the summer of 58. Oh my God. Because <laughs> I remember, no, I'd probably not. <laughs> it's Highway 58. <laughs> he just keeps using the same uh, uh, words to make you think that, I I, I believe. Uh, tested, testified, I definitely saw that girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the incident or accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. What the hell? I wanted to get away from the collision to put- Okay, so someone DOI'd. The house is clean, there is no evidence. Uh, there's an Ouija board. Henry, get back to base. Uh, you're yelling at me now? Ah! It's been a long shift. It's time for me to rest. Excuse me! Anyone afraid of mannequins? <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? It scared the shit out of me, but excuse me. Uh. <laughs> what? What? I hate it here. Scary booba. Um, I'm locked in here. What am I gonna do? Hello? You, this guy is not saying anything about it. Am I am I about to do a summoning ritual? Excuse me. That's not a that's not a mannequin. That's a fucking guy. Hello? Is he gonna run into the forest? That is not at all what I expected would happen. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, do I chase you? I don't know if I wanna, but I think I have to. Hi. Um. Uh oh. I think I found something. Someone is right behind me. Don't get smacked! No! <laughs> that is the most stupid. <laughs> Police Sergeant Henry Anderson, the most generic name of all time. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stops contacting. He just got bonked. <laughs> that was the most hollow bunk. I think this guy had some more problems than being smacked. Your nightmare is reality. Dude, the multiverses are collapsing. <laughs> Boink. Boink. 
He got bonked. Oh. <laughs> oh, f wait a minute. We're Phil again? Excuse me. We're back here. We just took a, sh took a shower. It's a loop. The time loop. Hello. What the fuck? Excuse me? Child? There's ropes now. Oh no, that's not a rope. That's a burned out candle. Um... That doesn't... I would call on my neighbors. Emma hasn't sorted her mill yet. Needs to replace the envelope. Excuse me, there's a dead hand here. Your brother, Jonathan. Take it. This is not mail, my friend. Emma, I'm so sorry. I want... I want to help you find JJ, but I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. Okay. I see. He wrote messages to... Locked? Need a key. You're just gonna steal her meal? You're not gonna talk about this insanity? Okay, want well, missing child, missing child, missing child. That also changed. The exit is mirrored? <laughs> Why is the exercise, exit sign mirrored? Why is this mirrored? Wait, the whole world is mirrored. Excuse me. Are they, are they doing adult stuff in there? What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't think it can be there for long. Excuse me. Wait, the door is gone. It was here just a moment ago. Uh oh, cockroaches, yucky bucky. Uh, demonic Cthulhu things. Shadow anomaly in the hallway. You got shadow people. This is the most PT flashbacks I've ever gotten. This, this like dresser setup is just like PT. There is, it might as well be copyrighted because it is like. There is no other game that I can think about that has ever done stuff like this before PT. Uh, I need a bear? What the f Are you not concerned? I need the food. Boobs. I hate it here. Hello? What even is this fucking picture? Is that Willem Dafoe on a like half picture on like severe LSD? What, something in here? Willem, William, whatever, same thing. Stop smoking, my friend. Uh, someone is... What are these fucking pictures, man? What's wrong with you? I know that one! Where do I know that from? That picture was in a game I played called... It was called... It was like a re red game. I forgot what it's called. It's not Observation Duty. It was, uh, the, the, some, some, like, elevator game. I have, to, I have to look up what the game was. <laughs> I know what the game was, sorry. <laughs> One second. <laughs> what was the game? <laughs> I'm ruining this moment. Wait, 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 give me a moment. It was called... No, I, I can't actually move on. My brain can move on until I figure out what the game was. It was like... It was... No, it wasn't the fridge is red. It was like a game... I know the thumbnail of the game. It was like... From the darkness. From the darkness! That's the game! From the Darkness! Yes! I know the game. It was called From the Darkness. I remember. Okay, anyway, now let's move on. <laughs> Priorities. What the fuck?
Uh, Emma, are you okay? What's happening in there? I don't like these noises. Uh, my place is now boarded up. Am I, am I in an insane asylum? This is a very different style from the game. Because he, he did kind of... Like, the developer of this game did kind of do PT-style games, but never... This elaborate. Uh, is there someone standing right there? No. Open two times? What the fuck? I mean, you weren't lying. Hello? Why are there cables going into the painting, by the way? It's kind of weird. Stop it. Stop it. Stop making this noise. What the fuck? Why? Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why there's cables going to the. I fucking. I'm stupid. Need to light the candles to open the door. Okay. That picture, by the way, you see? Uh, do I have a lighter anywhere? Dennis, thank you for the prime. Dude, you're making me, you make, what the hell, what is that noise, sounds like an old video game, I need to light the candles, huh, can I have a lighter, yes, let's go, it's time to light the candles, okay, this reminds me, man, you can really see all the all the previous games shine through because this really reminds can i open up my lighter this f l for lighter e maybe not these this really reminds me of the game locked up where you have to light a bunch of candles and there was like a ghost that was oh i gotta open it two times again so did i not let it did i break the rules i'm sorry Uh, there you go. I just gotta open it two times. <laughs> I broke the rules. I opened it too early. Do I gotta click these or do I have to? Yeah, there we go. And then this one. And that one. Uh-huh. I don't know how that works exactly, but it works. That's all that matters. Now I know uh, what opens that box in front of Emma's door. Can I run? Hello? Le that's not Ethan. Who are you? Uh, why do you got such a big shadow? That's really cool. That's creepy. Yeah, this place is still cursed, even without the creepy child. Uh, that door was not there before, excuse me, but I can now open this. And there's the missing piece. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Excuse me, am I ringing my own door now? Um, There's a demon book next to my light bulb? Can't open the door anymore. Yeah, I would like to take that. What's fucking hoofs? The letter is gone though. Oh, nice. Move the box aside. I cannot open my own door. What is this? Do I have to stand specifically here? Do I gotta ring my. Aha! Uh -huh. Um, hello there. 
I hate it here. <laughs> I like this, this picture though. Oh wait, it's a mannequin again! <laughs> it's just a tiny child, don't be scared! He's already here. Voices in my head. They are watching me. Voices in my head. Um, that's a lot of notches. What were you counting here? Hello. Oh, it's mirrored now. Oh, we're doing a Ouija board. The item is missing. The planchette or whatever the fuck you call it. Yeah, that's not very nice. Cursed item photo real quick. Get some bucks. Why do you get- This painting is so cursed, why do you got two of them? You really needed another one? Aha! Uh -huh. Now I got this. It's called a planchette, right? Or is I know that model from anywhere. <laughs> I know exactly what's standing right there. And I'm about to get my fucking ghost photo. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's not Lisa. No, it's the model, the other model. Uh, now it's layers of fear. Um, what the fuck are those, dude? Excuse me, I'm locked in here. I would like to leave. Layers of Fear is such a good game. I gotta play that again, actually. I don't think I've ever uploaded the layers... My Layers of Fear playthrough. What the fuck? And I don't think I've ever played Layers of Fear 2. Um, hell? I gotta fill in the code. Need a password. You got a password, lady? Is it hell, but then every letter in the alphabet and then their number? It's 666. It's hell, but... Where the fuck did you go? Um, I'm gonna try... It's not 666. Because there's four... Four letters. Wait. Anyone have the time to quickly calculate what the hell is if you take the letter their position in the alphabet? 734? Like, no, it can't be that. It can't be. It's probably somewhere else, though. But while you guys are doing the. Ooh, hi there. Um. I know you as well. What the fuck? What it. This game, like, really pulls out all the creepy models, huh? Oh, the, go the ghost is gonna tell me. Never mind. Wor don't worry about it. It's one, four, zero, eight. One, four, zero, eight. Yes, that's what I said. That's what I'm saying. Oh boy. Classic. Ask the board. We asked the board the passcode. We gotta try that. I should be concerned that the. The things are boarded up on the inside, by the way. One, four, zero, eight. Boom. What? That was not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's the squishy room. What in the feck? <laughs> uh, uh, hello there. Meatballs? Oh, we put it in. We put it in again. Cannot open that. Locked. Need a key. Can I close the door? I want to teleport in peace. Here it goes. Where's the button? Wait, how do I turn it on? There it is. There's no lever! That is unfortunate. Guess I have to go. Can I open this door now? Uh, was it there when I came in first? Is something on the other side? Can I walk? <laughs> it truly is the squishy room! 
<laughs> Excuse me. Yaki. Yaki Baki. Scorn moments. I'm trying to I'm trying to find another key. Can I get the key from the same chest? Because it looks like the exact same chest. Maybe the oh the mannequin is gone. That might mean there's a key over here. Uh there's a note. I remember that day in the park. You wanted to go to the rides, but we agreed to do it after the picnic. Okay. What what's that supposed to mean? Are you blaming me for that? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I was like, why is the head of that doll so far backwards? Also, we're in the UK. We got UK plugs. Um, what the fuck? I'm trying to find the the key, but I don't see it. So I guess it's not here. Are those US plugs too? Wait, really? They just steal it. I wanted to come back to you, but my thoughts won't let me go. Hey, click it. Uh-huh. Oh, what are you doing over there, lady? I can't see you. Are you? You are totally the lady. I know you. All right. Taking the key. I'm out of here. Goodbye. They're not UK plugs? Don't UK plugs have, like, a, a third leg? Like, they... I don't know, man. I'm not in from the UK. Now we gotta turn it on. Or, well, we gotta get the lever first, which is definitely in here. Yup, easy peasy. Yes, but at the top? What the fuck? So complicated. Oh boy, here it goes. Oh, that is sick. Wait, that is so cool. <laughs> Look at that. That is a really cool effect. Well, here it goes. Oh man, that's sick. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> I want to hear the truth. Excuse me! I just died? I just got sent to fucking hell or heaven? The golden egg? You can't handle the truth! The golden egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world. So he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that it is that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record everything for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. Holy shit, this game is <laughs> 10 levels deep at all times, excuse me? Okay, so we're about to fucking inception this guy. <laughs> we're gonna try to figure out the code in their dream. <laughs> excuse, I gotta watch inception again. Uh, did, observation duty? Operate, uh, communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch, okay? Also, he is, he's coding in uh, visual, uh, <laughs> visual studio. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac. Only the a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of this world, okay? Inception is an awesome movie. Like, might be one of my favorite movies of all time. Just very visually and story is very cool. We're calling Jonathan Wait. Like, that game is some of the best visual effects of all time. It is really cool. Be careful. Evil knows where to look for you. And also, it has, like, practical effects a lot of the time, right? That was their, that was their deal. They spent, like, millions of dollars 
doing all kinds of crazy shit. Jonathan, show me how it was, but don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It is dangerous. Okay, so we're Jonathan, which is JJ, maybe? I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like it was yesterday. We need, we need a, we need a game theorist on this, because this is... Oh, we're filming it. Uh, wait. Achievement unlocked summer of 58. Excuse me. <laughs> Explain yourself. Can I zoom? I can zoom. It's Outlast now. This is truly the me it is truly all of the games combined. It is the ultimate horror game. <laughs> what the fuck? Excuse me. It's it's like on the brink of all horror genres. Need a crowbar? We're actually going in there? Okay. Oh, baby. Is this even gonna help? Oh, I can't turn it off, but it doesn't... <laughs> I definitely need it. Without that, I cannot see. Okay. Ooh, just not... It seems to be locked from the inside. What is this, Dark Souls? Oh, that one got me. I don't like that at all. Approaching footsteps trigger some kind of fight or flight in me. Like that. That's terrifying. I hate it. Over. Over. I would like to be out of here uh, very soon. This place looks a lot different from when I was here. Um... As the other guy. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. We got footstep evidence. It'll not be Talgor, luckily. We're adding our own references to the game that references like a 10 million other games. We're gonna make this the most confusing video of all time. Go to the Ferris wheel. I don't think I can. can't open this either. Okay, I, I think I'm not supposed to be here unless I, I can't open this door. There's a bunch of boxes in front of me. What the fuck, man? Someone in there? Need a crowbar to open the window. Aha. Uh -huh. So we just need to find a crowbar and then our all our troubles will be gone. Just gotta find one somehow. Can I go around this? No, it's already blocked. Maybe in here? I checked in there, but I didn't see it. Okay, we gotta go back around the house again. Because I don't think it's over here. I hope the crowbar's gonna be shiny. So I can see it in the darkness. Don't walk over. <laughs> no, no. Why well, I'm more scared of shit I can't see than shit than stuff I can see. Like the the, the creepy children running in front of me, I sleep. Creepy lady whispering to me from the forest, I cry. <laughs> Okay, is there a crowbar anywhere? It's gotta be here, right? At that thing? Am I gonna get bonked? Okay, that's not how this works. We gotta have a, something for that too. Uh, excuse me. There is no crowbar to be found. Am I fishing? The true crowbar was inside me all along. Well, I hope not. Okay, there's gotta be one around here, maybe. Where the ladder was? Yes, a big arrow! <laughs> baby. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Now oh, that's a reference. You gotta count all the references. Someone is- someone's- if you this is a this is a lore test. If you've truly watched all my videos, you know that reference. Baby, baby, baby. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> it's a reference bingo. <laughs> That's an OG one though. 
That's a very old- Welcome to the game, you got it. You fucking scored a point. <laughs> it's before my time. Okay, wait, I gotta open the, the- the toilet. No, 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 that's like four years- three years ago that that was a thing. Oh boy. I would like to open the door! Is that how you use a crowbar? I swear to God, every time I watch a game, they use the crowbar at the long end. Don't you use the, like, the hooked end? To get leverage? I don't understand. Every- I've been noticing that every time. <laughs> Depends on what you're doing. Oh no, there's a phone in there. Need to look for gloves? There's- at least he's gotta look for gloves. <laughs> at least he's actually gonna be... Gotta be careful about it. Seems to be locked for me. He said, just use the fucking crowbar. The hook is to get nails out of wood. Okay, so to get planks off, you would... I, I mean, I guess it depends on what you do. If you get the nails out of the planks, you would use the other end then. Okay, so we're just doing it right. Like, in this case, it makes sense to me. Like, that's how I would do that too. But the other... With the plank situation, I wouldn't have. There's no animation. This is why we're looking at a blank screen, I'm guessing. Yep, there we go. Look at the game speed running. That was good stuff. What? There's a train up here? Excuse me. Do you often crowbar windows? He was here! He was hidden! I need to find out how to open the safe. Get the get the train. I can't get the train. There's a lighter. Uh-huh. I was expecting a flashlight. I don't know why I was expecting a flashlight. I can unlock the door. I can light. Need to burn the rope. Why exactly? Oh, because we... Because we boarded ourselves inside somehow? How did that even happen? What is this? What? They're tiny babies? What the f... Oh, they're... Why? They're like naked mole rats. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is this is gonna explode. <laughs> this is just a bad idea. Rat, where the hell is the gasoline? Do you have something, little train? How do we open the safe? Is there like a cable going somewhere? Oh, in here. Uh huh. We got the gloves. I put them on. You can use some. Something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't need any presents. Please let me go home. Let us go home. We are very scared. The lighter doesn't work, right? You need gasoline. This is the letter I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. Uh-huh. Maybe this time you don't need gasoline. It was only when it was convenient for the plot. No, see? Need a lighter and fuel. The game is consistent. What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, it's the cap of the... It's Santa? Santa Claus? Excuse me? This is from the Summer of 58 Deb, yes. There's that text again. Wait, what does it say? Circus performance, yeah. Happy Father's Day. I know. Clown outfit? Oh. There's fuel. It was just chilling. It says lighter fluid on it. I mean, there's gotta be places where they sell that burn. And then the whole house is gonna go up in flames and it's gonna be your fault. Why didn't you just like use the cr a window? What the fuck? Excuse me. <laughs> I hit it here. Uh, what the fuck? That was not there before. <gasps> oh, no. Dude, I found my, my greatest weakness in horror games. It's people running at you while you can't see them. I didn't realize that was such a trigger for me. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate it here.
That's fucked up, man. It's my greatest weakness. Someone's gonna make it a horror game where it's just that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we have? We have gloves to go in here now. Oh boy. I can't see. It's darkness. <laughs> ah! Yucky! What the fucky? <laughs> did I get something? What did I get? Oh, it's right there. Is that a phone? It is a. F oh my god, why did you put it in your face? It's an access card covered in fucking dookie. At least wipe it off with the toilet paper. What is wrong with you? Zoom out. Zoom out. Uh, access card. Where do we need an access card? I don't remember seeing anything like that. Oh, maybe opening the safe. That's why. Oh! What the fuck, man? Are you holding a potato? Oh no, that's a shoe. <laughs> what the fuck? What, are they gone now? Nope, they're still there. the safe open the safe uh hello i would like to open the safe i can't open the safe i can't get further up here choo choo hello yes please open the safe excuse me uh i'm confused mm, i'm confused we follow the demonic lady who ran away from us maybe nope we're stuck we're stuck here now Fridge. The fridge opens with a fucking key card? I don't think so. <laughs> Doo -doo. Choo -choo. How do I... I... Come on, stop choo chewing me. Oh. What the fuck? I didn't even. Well, I just got lucky, I guess. <laughs> what? I did not see that cable at all. That's so sneaky. Simon, thank you for the... I didn't find this diary in reality. I need to dive into it and find out what happened to him as a child. Why is he hiding these memories? Simon, thank you for the six months in advance. Thank you. I came home after school. My mom... ...was in a bad mood. I have to sit in the basement again. Is someone in there now? What the fuck? Did someone show up in the background? What the hell? I'm... We need to go deeper. <laughs> no, I'm back here. We're back at the start. We need to go. Home sweet home. It's another reference to a game we played recently. It truly never ends. Hi. Uh, I know this. I recognize this. Or I know you. You're the lady. Wait, are you? No, that's not the same. That's another lady. Hi, lady. Um, yeah, I'm going. Goodbye. Oh, flashlight. Thank you. I would like to pick it up. Now can I look? God damn it. <laughs> Come into the house. They fucking knew. I recognize this house from anywhere. <laughs> I have seen this house time and... Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her. Her? Like the truth? What in the fuck are you? Why? Why does that exist? That is the. Why are these cables not. That looks strange. So many whys. <laughs> what the fuck? Water. Bye bye. Uh, another time machine? Okay. I literally just yesterday played Somni, which uses uses this map as well. Uh, 
Um, I can't open this door. There's a hand on it. Oh, there you go. Open. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh. Why are you doing this? I was not even considering moving this to see a secret wall. <laughs> you are so much smarter than I am, apparently. I did not even consider that. <laughs> I need to find a crowbar. Okay. My guy is strong. It's in there. It's salt. That's so much salt. It's... What the fuck? I saw grandma? It's grandma from grandma's house? And there was a child too. But the ch they're both gone. Guess I'm going out here now, huh? Someone choking? Oh boy. Pumpkins, two dollars! An illusion. Okay, I don't. Stop walking. Man, this makes me want to go... This reminds me of, like, good old times when you went to the forest late at night when you were, like, a child on, like, a camp. Like, uh... You would do creepy stuff late at night, tell horror stories, and go outside. Like, walk through the forest. That shit was awesome. I love that stuff. Maybe that's why I'm so fucked up. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I found the origin. <laughs> I did that in my house. I mean, you if you live in the forest. Is that a tarot card? Oh. Uh, tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital, a man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple, enter into trust, and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the police. Sunny Meadows. Again, behind the... Oh my god, you... What are you talking about? Can I go upstairs now? I cannot go upstairs. Maybe I can go through here, though. Oh, cannot go through there. You are fucked. Hello? I, hear, I thought I... Oh, knife. That's a weird-looking knife. You got a crowbar in your kitchen? Is that a kitchen utensil some people have? You're making eggs. I am fucked. Can I open this? Cannot open this. I can open this though. Uh -huh. Lockpick? Actual real lockpick though? I mean, yes, probably. Uh, so many lockpicks in games only have like one thing. It's like a one lockpick. Like, <laughs> like a one thing lockpick. You need to have at least two things. To provide some lever, some uh, torque. I've watched lockpicking lawyer. I'm a lockpicking professional. Guy who watches 10 videos from lockpicking lawyer. And calls himself professional lockpicker. I mean, to be fair, I I got into that at some point. I bought like a lockpicking set and I started lockpicking my own front door. <laughs> I opened it. <laughs> it didn't make me feel very safe. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> you can just do that? <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, I live in a house that a- I live in a house that a- <laughs> that a child who has literally practiced for like a, a day can lockpick the front door. <laughs> That's not actually true, because I was lockpicking the old house keys. Like I, 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 we like changed the house keys and I was lockpicking the house keys from the previous people who lived here, which was like, I mean like 20 years ago. So there were 20 year old locks and we just replaced them with like the, the most fancy locks you can get nowadays. Cause that, that was like a wake up call. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. What the hell is that? Practice makes perfection. I mean, to be fair, locks are just to keep the good people out, right? Can I go down?
Because locks are just like uh, prevention methods. Like more like a, you're not supposed to be here kind of thing. There's places in the world where people don't even lock their fucking doors, which is some psycho shit, by the way. Oh, there's fuel? Sorry. I was so focused on finding the demonic circle or whatever. It's tiny town stuff. It's just stupid stuff. It's not tiny town stuff. It's just stupid. I can't pick up... We didn't need this anymore. I forget. Uh, it's a puzzle piece? It's a puzzle piece? How the fuck was anyone supposed to find that? Excuse me? I'm always triple checking my front door's lock. Whenever... If you, if you don't, like, check your door before you go to bed, you got problems. I'm, I'm sorry. People who don't lord have locked their doors have gone. If you don't lock your door because you have a gun and you want people to break into your house so you can use your gun, you need to talk to someone. You need help. Consider this an intervention. You are too an United States build. You need to get out and touch grass. <laughs> Says the streamer. <laughs> can I... Can I use this thing? Demonic thing on the door? Where the hell was I supposed to use the demon circle? Did I touch grass today? I actually went out today. Uh, excuse me? You, you caught me on the wrong day. I, I played that trump card knowing someone would call my bluff. And then I'd be like, I went out today, idiots. <laughs> okay, what am I doing again? You just got, you just got fooled. You walked right into my trap card. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there, sir. The sun, did it burn? <laughs> it was not very hot today like 17 degrees okay i don't know where the f oh excuse me i did not realize that was how wait that's actually sick dude this game uses some awesome effects what the fuck that's really cool holy shit look at that that's awesome you told me that well i did not pay attention okay what's in here why is it open there's nothing in there it's the, GA, the, the Ghost Hunters Core Granny. It is. Okay, I think there's got to be something out there that I missed. Because I needed the lockpick. Can I use the lockpick on this as well? Aha! We are truly the lockpicking lawyer. Click out a one. Three is binding. Imagine you, you're sleeping and all of a sudden you hear a click out a one. Two is, <laughs> two is set. Three is binding. You're gonna shiver in your boots. <laughs> oh no, people are walking around. I don't like this man. Stop it, stop it, go away, go away, go away. Aha, this is where we use the demon circle. They're gonna play the Ghostbusters theme on the radio. I'm calling it. Rest in peace, Jonathan! No! After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. There I found friends, and it seems I became happy. The monster that lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find a family that would accept me for who I really was. A normal. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> a normal? Really? <laughs> what the fuck? I am a normal too, dude. <laughs> Let that sink in. Let that sink in. I'm hydrating to let it sink in even more. <laughs> a normal. Am I gonna use it here? Or is something changed behind me now? Mud blood. Hello? Uh oh. Someone's still out there. Run. Boy. 
I forgot. Do I have an inventory? I can't see what items I have in my inventory. I keep. Do I have it like on the escape screen? I don't. Holy shit, that music though. What the fuck? Okay. There was nothing there. The boombox is gonna play care of this whispers. Dan, 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 dan. Their fucking heart. Hi there. I just wanted to see you guys again. Was that a heartbeat? Can I close this door? What the fuck? Can I go upstairs now? Pick the door, the locked door. I don't think they're gonna allow me to do that. No. <laughs> that was actually a good call though. Can I pick this door? Oh. I can just move the shit out of the way. What horror game allows you to move the shit out of the way? Excuse me, I didn't even consider that an option. You can just climb over the trash on the floor? <laughs> what the fuck? I've been, I've been fucking sh I just got, <laughs> the game just uh, exposed that I'm a sheep. I have, I have been conditioned by games to believe that, that blocked areas are none, not supposed to be crossed. Oh, hi there. I see you. Child. Um, I would like to go in. I can't go in. Well then, uh, I guess I go here. I am a normal too, dude. Oh, me. Hi there. What the fuck is this thing? <laughs> Why does that exist? Granny. Granny, no. Granny, calm down. Take your meds. Uh, big chest. The chest from Forewarned? <laughs> Wait, fuck. Need a bolt cutter. Um, there's a crowbar at the grave. There is no crowbar at the grave. I was just there. You lied to me. There's also a tarot card. Uh, and the lady is back outside? Dude, I love the diesels in this game. This is very well made. This is cool. <laughs> they all fall down. And look at the tarot cards. Oh, another picture. Aha, and the bolt cutter is in the attic. I see. Do I need these pictures to be able to find them? Like they appear now? Need to look for the places from the photos. Yes. Uh huh. Our crowbar's not reusable here. No, we turned into a different person. Who is now, I think, so the story of this game is very confusing. Uh, I think we are currently in someone's dream trying to figure out where someone else went. Also, there, someone went, okay. So there's a maniac, right? There's a maniac who killed people. This maniac got like put into a machine where he is sent to a dream world then someone else went into that dream world to try and extract information out of the mind of the maniac, but then that person got stuck in the dream world, and now we are coming to get that person out of the dream world. It's it's like it's like Inception. Look at the door again. What? Oh, look at the lady again. Can we go out? That was actually a pretty, I think I explained that pretty well. So if that, didn't, if that didn't do it for you, I don't know what to tell you. This game is doing the end game. Okay, so we need to go to the grave again because there was the crowbar. Isn't that the movie called The Cell? What the fuck? There's a movie of everything. Um, there's no crowbar. You lied to me? You liar? What? Isn't this the place from the picture? Am I insane? It's a trap. Uh-oh. Cell is a trippy film. What are you doing in here? Can I look at the picture again? Wait, there's like no way to look at the pictures again? What the hell? 
I mean, I looked at them properly, but still. There's no inventory, as far as I know. I can't press tab. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on. There should be a crowbar here, but there's not. I've been lied to. Maybe I gotta find the bolt cutters first. Although that doesn't really make any sense. Look at the video cam. I don't have the video cam anymore. Remember, I'm a different person. I, I changed. Look at this. All those screenshots for nothing. This is why you take screenshots, apparently. Okay, let's go up to the attic. Because I'm guessing there's something there. It looked like an attic, at least, to me. Now there's not going to be any creepy stuff going on. It's going to be completely normal. Can I lockpick this, by the way? Oh, no, that's just the ladder. Okay, where is... There was a candle on the picture. It's back there. This was it. This was it. Right? I swear this was it. Or maybe I gotta just grab them invisible. What? Wasn't that it? Yeah, and it also makes sense because there's pictures here. They took photos. Wait, I feel like I'm... Miss... Something is wrong. Maybe I need a... Oh, wait a minute. I did my best to get my parents admitted to a psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia. A dangerous form because they already almost harmed their child. Okay. I might have to find like a photo cam. I think that's what I'm... That's what I'm missing. I think in the air... You know, like I've played horror games before. This... I, I'm just... <laughs> I'm feeding off of my knowledge of, of horror games from the past like i think we're gonna do a madison here like you know from the game madison where su you're supposed to like ha take photos of areas and then items will appear i think there's gonna be a polaroid camera up in the the upstairs area and then we need to take photos of that we need to find blue knees basically that's what i'm saying i don't know if that's true but that's what it feels like can I open this further? I cannot. Is there a picture? This one. Can I click this? Open this? I cannot open this! Why even have the door? I mean, I know you have the door because it was in the asset and you was like, how am I gonna... I'm just gonna not make the people interact with the door. I need to get a crowbar for this. I can't open this. Okay, maybe I was incorrect. I felt like that was such a, such a good idea. Yet I am stupid, turns out. I can't open the window either. I mean, we could have reached this point from the very beginning, right? We kind of did this out of order. Oh, maybe in here. I was actually right. Holy shit. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> this is the truest, most... <laughs> this game is every single horror game combined, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? This is awesome. <laughs> Okay, so now how do I take a picture? I fucking knew it. Now we gotta go out here. How do I... I'm trying to take it. Maybe if I get here, I can take a picture. I am the lead developer. Look at the controls menu to find out. Good call. If, we, if it doesn't automatically do it here, I'm gonna look at the controls menu. Yeah, this is truly one of the horror games of all time. <laughs> No, I actually, like, I think it's really good. Uh, what do I? Camera? It's F. A C! Aha. Uh -huh. Shake! That was a mechanic. They, he is combining all of the games. What? Did I not do it correct? What the fuck, man? Okay. There we, there we go. I did it. That is a mechanic we played when we played, uh, Locked Up. I think? I think that was a photo mechanic in that game. All those games are awesome, by the way. Uh, which I think if you go into the horror games playlist, because I have a playlist for every single indie horror game we've played, they must be one of the first games in there. So if you scroll all the way up, you can find them right there. Or, I mean, you could also just search for the titles of the game. I mean, you know how to use Google. Hi there. Can you take a photo of the grandma? Can you get a ghost photo? Wait. Ghost photo time?
Did you just look at me? I got him. I have proof. I have v video proof. Three star ghost photo, baby. That was probably two star. It was a little far away. All right, let's get the bolt cutter now. Also, the fact that... Because this was from Madison. This is actually like straight up what you had to do in Madison. You had to look for... Which is also awesome horror game, by the way. Like, that's the thing. If you learn from good horror games, you make a good horror game. Because in that game, there was also, like, pictures like this on the floor. I don't know if it was that game. There was a game I played recently that had pictures like this where you had to take a photo. There you go. There was someone in the picture. Hello there. Uh-oh. Oh, I got the bolt cutter. It was Madison. Excuse me? Why? Why you break your arm? Ouch. <laughs> uh, I forget you were there. Wasn't it visage? Uh. We could evade- I don't know if I ever want to play Visage again. That game is- Like, what might be better with Visage is just, like, playing it off-stream and then playing it again on-stream. Because that game is, like, the most frustrating puzzle game of all time. That's some of the worst puzzles I've ever seen in a game. Uh, what was I doing? I need a bolt cutter for up here. Like, the atmosphere is great and all, but the, the like, the actual gameplay in that game is terrible, in my opinion. Here we go, bolt cutter time. Another one? Whatever this is, I don't know. Steven and Nancy. Is it fr is it fucking <laughs> Stranger Things? <laughs> Steve and Nancy. Excuse me. We we return to our house, but others live there. <laughs> Wait, what? We returned to our house, but others lived there. I need to get rid of them and get my life back. They had a child. He looks so much like Phil. With him, we can start all over again. Little Peter, we are your new mom and dad. Excuse me. Wait, there's... VV mom and dad. Those are bold letters. I don't know if that means anything. Okay. Now we had also crowbar, which we were supposed to use. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> what even happened? I closed my eyes because I was thinking and then I got blasted. Excuse? <laughs> you take a photo of the kid in the room. I can't? I can. What? Oh, it's so bright because it flashes off the white. <laughs> It reflects off the white. <laughs> you can't. Maybe if I go further back. Aha, there you go. Uh -huh. The door is more open. I doubt it. Okay, so now we need... Was it here? Was it this? Robot? There was something that I needed a crowbar for. What was it? I don't remember. Oh, the board's over here. The secret door. Secret door. Why is that such a bloody crowbar? Like, in that case, I don't know. I feel like you would use the... I feel like you would use that side. But I'm maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Like, I feel like... How would you even get enough leverage? I'm so obsessed with this. So I'm scared in three, two, one. Ah! Or, never mind. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, and this is where we need the lever, which I already got from the bathtub at the very beginning. Wait, I can actually turn this off and make it go away? Excuse me? What the fuck? <laughs> you again? Hello, Teddy. Uh, yeah, demonic book. Nothing to see here. Tarot cards. Oh. 
knife. I can pick up the knife. That is the absolute most unpractical, practical, most dull knife I have ever seen. That's a kid's toy right there. I mean, probably not a kid's toy, but still. Why is it so freaking thick? It's like a Batman <laughs> utensil from a... Also, I got an achievement there that was called... Uh, probably from one of the games I haven't played from day to day. I think that's one of their other games. Maybe we gotta play that one to understand the whole story. Oh, there's another one. Third one, which I don't even know what I need these for, but I'm collecting them apparently. Oh, there I need them for. <laughs> it worked. It looks like the lock in the basement has opened. Aha. I'm glad we got them all at once and we didn't have to run it back. Like we have to go around again to find them. Good stuff. Now we can go into the basement. It is not a knife. I, that's not a knife. It's a club. <gasps> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Hi there. I can see you. I can see you. Oh, you got a creepy smile, lady. You are looking a little creepy. Why is she so creepy? She's happy. She's a happy lady. What the fuck? Un unnecessary. Uh, this is the basement from Locked Up, where we went behind the wall and there were like terrifying mannequins here, I remember. But oh yeah, this was there too. The Bigfoot thing from, <laughs> from Edith Finch. Yup, it's the exact same place, the secret room. Uh, unless I don't go there. Oh, no, I don't go here. This is... Did you hear the child? You went behind the wall in that game. Oh, and we need the puzzle pieces. Oh, no, we only have one of them. Ah, uh, fuck me. I'm going to have to look at the tape to find them all, huh? I should have paid more attention. Okay, let's look at the tape. Which I can probably do upstairs. There was a television? Question mark? No, no. There's no... Wait, there was a tape. There was a tape somewhere. It was at the... At the grave, there was a... A player? Why are you crying? Do I have to go all the way back there? I can't even go out. Can't open this anymore. So that's definitely not it. Is there a cassette player up in this room? I don't remember exactly. There's no television, so I mean this also is a very old house, so that might be why. Did I already check here? No matter how hard I try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Why the fuck? We're not a normal. We're a, we're an abnormal. There was a missing B. Okay. Um, maybe there's something upstairs. Oh, we can't go upstairs anymore. I like that. Take note. Game developers, take note. Blocking off areas the player is no longer supposed to go. Good. Good game design. I like that. Can you? Can we all do this? Blocking off areas where the player is just gonna wander around doing absolutely nothing. You shouldn't be proud that a player gets stuck in your game for like forever. Walking around doing absolutely nothing of engaging stuff. Visage. <coughs> Visage. Because <laughs> Visage has... That is... Okay. That's a great moment to, to yell at Visage. Because Visage is the exact opposite of that. The Visage allows you to get anywhere even when you're not supposed to be able to get there yet and you can't solve any of the puzzles i remember going into all the wrong areas and you would go into an area where there clearly was a puzzle to be solved and then it was like you you would get stuck there forever trying to solve the puzzle and then you would go away because you were like well i spent 30 minutes here i guess i can't do this or something and then later on you'd get like one little thing and then it'd be like oh okay 
Now I go back into that area and all of a sudden everything has changed and there's a puzzle. If you just lock the door for that puzzle until you could go there, I would have never been annoyed at your video game. That is genuinely the big solve. The way to make a horror game less frustrating is like allowing less, like allowing the player to go into less areas if they don't, shouldn't be there yet. It's a good idea and you should use it. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I don't, I, I mean, I'm supposed to go through this door eventually, but not yet. But no, I can't do that. So where the hell are we gonna play this tape? I don't remember ever seeing a cassette player. Oh, can we? Aha, I didn't even consider trying to turn on the breaker. There we go, touch the mirrors. I don't think the mirrors are working. Uh, door. The television behind me? Wait, I'm stupid. Where? How am I not seeing this? Oh, it's literally right. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> I am so blind. It's right there. <laughs> Can I watch the tape, please? A child who craves parental love becomes rejected. He is not like... Because he is not like that. I needed to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down when Phil was safe. Okay. Next line, please. <laughs> You can move on? After that accident, Phil asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out, and Phil only got worse. Okay, so... Because I was Phil earlier. Wasn't I Phil when I was at... Wasn't I Phil at the start? Like the time machine guy? That was Phil, right? Unpred, thank you for the sub. Uh, I was left alone. I decided that if we couldn't get his real family back... Then we, then I could find a new one. Uh, Attach mate, thank you for the four months. Dead con, thank you for the prime. Lord Frieza with the ten months as well. Thank you guys. Wait, did I miss? Sorry, let me, let me check. Uh, Clyde with the four months. Cheese with the nine months as a baby. Drashalis with the two months. Kane with the prime. Scoot with the four months. And armored puppy with a ten dollar donation. Thank you. Uh, Horus Domini with the prime. Nar with the sub. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. This is the slowest text of all time. Feely, thank you for the five months. Thank you, guys. Okay. Now I'm up to speed again. This is why you gotta have, like, some kind of... <laughs> some kind of skip of the dialogue. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. Can I? Wasn't the train from some Japanese game? Holy shit. There's some lore masters in the chat. I remember. I played that game. And then we got so fucked up at the ending that we never uploaded it to YouTube. So that's a, that's a stream viewer spotted. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there, but he refused. Uh, I forgot what the name was, what the name of that train game was. It was, uh, I don't know, it was some Japanese game. When I went there myself, wearing my best outfit, I wanted to amuse the children. Or then I went there myself. I won I met my father with a child. It was that boy from our house. He treated him badly. He wasn't his real father. I made sure he was left alone and went over to him. Dude, what is going on? Because the text is so slow, my brain has already forgotten the last sentence before the next one appears. <laughs> His name was Peter. Dude, is this made for severe, for people with severe dyslexia? Like, I'm not trying to flame or anything, but like, how slow does people read? Ow! What the fuck? Jesus! Your subconscious is more adequate than you. Then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Okay, I don't... That was unnecessary. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually just like instinctive... There's the secret thing! <laughs> there is the secret 
passage with the creepy mannequins. And there's gonna be one big mannequin back here. The, the strong boy mannequin. Wait, where's the strong boy mannequin? I remember this from Find Yourself. Where's the strong mannequin though? Uh, gotta use my bolt cutter. Oh, it's a one-time use bolt cutter. Oh, never mind. I came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. So by the way, just in case you're actually trying to understand the story, I think, so we got several missing children. We got, and apparently, the the people, the psychiatric patients that, patients that escaped. Okay, now we're Jonathan. That's important. Psychiatric patients that explain that escaped got crazy because of their child. So we're back at being Jonathan now. Uh, we need the cam. Thank you very much. Uh, Emma, your I can't read this shit, man. Uh, Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore. I know you're kind to him and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name is Phil and he lives alone. I've got something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment into in your house. In your, I think, building, you should say. I don't think you should talk to him. Your brother, Jonathan. What the hell? Yeah, this is a prequel. I. So this house is from that game. Oh, okay. I see. It explains a bunch of the story. Phil's diary, thank you. Uh, warm soda was taken. Thank you for the tier 2, 16 months. Thank you. Oh boy, we're back at camera mode. No, I I knew that, that it was a... Because Jess already told me that before we started playing. That it was a prequel to that game. Like, obviously they're related. Have you not been paying attention? <laughs> they're talking about all the same shit. I'm just trying to figure out the overall story, which I don't know if we can... I don't know if my brain can handle all this lore at once. Wait, so what are we... We... What are we supposed to do now? I guess we go over here. Can we now go through the... The trap? Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Excuse me? That was unnecessary. <laughs> Can we go through creepy... Creepy door? No? Come on. Fuck you! <laughs> Poor mods trying to make me read a message. Dude, you should see them at the start of every stream when I'm not in the Discord voice channel. It's him! <laughs> Get into the voice channel! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay, what the hell was that? Was that that was not a crowbar? Oh. It actually is like the worst thing of all time. But this is also referring to all the other games. What the fuck? Um, no thank you. Ow. <laughs> Someone's crying in the forest. Can I now open this? Using the, the thing? I know I keep returning to this. I can't. I gotta use this somewhere else. Okay, dude. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? A paramic? Oh, it's a saw. Never mind. It looks like a paramic. The disc angle grinder is damaged. It's enough to use it once. Okay. <laughs> And it breaks completely. The disc is broken. Oh boy. We're definitely gonna find some more locked doors in here. Pretty high up here. Get a little bit scared, are you? I gotta come all the way back down there now. <laughs> oh, we're here! We're Phil now. Um, excuse me? I know this place. This was from Find Yourself. Which I, as I said, I played Find Yourself several times. I think I actually speedrun it in like 50 minutes. What the fuck, dude? Afraid, thank you for the three months. Are we the clown? I'm like trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out the... 
Oh, hi there. Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> He was Phil talking, the fucked up voice. Hi there. Whoa, hey kids. What is your name? Aren't you here with your parents? We were the clown all along. My name is Peter. I'm on a holiday with my dad. Okay. Your dad lost you. He asked me to help find a boy with dark hair whose name was Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. Uh oh. <laughs> Good. Wait, the text is finally fast. Excuse me, the stranger danger? <laughs> Whoa, hey kids. Why do you keep saying this shit? Oh, hey kids. Hi kids, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate this. <laughs> what the hell? Give you pizza. There's still friggin' leeches on the pizza. You can't give him janky ass pizza and an egg. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> what the hell is this boy? <laughs> oh. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm Mom? <laughs> I'm hungry, too. Why Why the voice acting out of the... <laughs> It's just to drive home that he's the clown, I think. But still, this is, me... <laughs> this is driving me crazy, dude. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. I take off my clown nose just to make sure you know. Wait, that toast never got taken out. I remember because I saw the toast was still stuck in there. When we were a police agent. And it truly never gets taken out. Wait, the details in this game are incredible. He leaves the toast. Which we then found during the... Please shut up. Gotta clean up my own shit. Do I sleep on the couch? I do sleep on the couch. Alright, good night. Immersion restored. Choo choo! You just like the train? You're a diesel. A few days later. Love this game. Yeah, it is really good. <laughs> News time. The police are looking for a boy. 10 years old. Name's JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. In close to main door. Whatever. I don't think it's actually saying anything. Oh boy, we're back to the text being the slowest text of all time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Darkness comes out. So let this, if there's one thing like to say about this game, definitely add like a... Skip the next dialogue line button to your game. It's important. Am I a murderer? One of the characters I play as is a murderer. Yes. Oh, we're back here. Bastard. So we're Phil now, which is the crazy clown. Uh, the world is upside down. What the fuck? Clown, you're clipping through the door, lady. Father's Day. That's a name. The fuck? It's the other side of the fucked up picture of William the Foe. What? Guilty. I don't have a flashlight. Am I supposed to go here? Am I supposed to find a flashlight right there? Flashlight doesn't work, but the door still open. Okay. Balloons. Shh. Is this a library? Rides. Magician. Can't go there. Water. Oh, it's a television. Ow. Oh. My dear son, we will be together soon, Ethan. Or my son. We take it this time. Are we eating it? Oh no, we're taking it out. It sounded like crunchy noise. Ethan, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. Your mom asked me not to drive. I didn't listen to her. You know how I want to, want to get it all back. I wouldn't do anything for that because of my job. I didn't pay attention to you at all. And I was a bad father. 
and husband. I want to fix it, but I only made it worse. I took you away from each other. I'm so sorry. I have to try and fix it. This is referencing the car crash again? That had, like, from a while ago? Here we go, Father's Day. Bill's family died in the car accident, yes. This is gonna be the tape from that, uh, Backrooms game. About the child, remember that? Oh, <laughs> I want to sit in a chair. Okay. Just do it. You got legs. Uh, that is... A picture of a child in a cage. And he's going crazy. You see that? Don't leave alive. The battery on the video camera is dead. For Jonathan, again. Which is the police person going into the mind of the person to save the other person who got stuck in the mind of the maniac. Or it's one... Clear as day. We're, we're police agents. Okay, there's no door handle here. No buttons. Aha. Flashlight. Maybe I... Oh, flashlight and a key. Now we open it. Jesus Christmas. Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck? This is definitely their best game yet, which, I mean, I have enjoyed all their games so far, so that's good to see. Like, it's always fun to play games from the same developer and every game gets better over time. I can't wait to see more games from the Mortuary Assistant developer, because holy fuck, Mortuary Assistant might be like, it's definitely my horror game of the year. So, yeah, that's, I'm looking forward to that. Because I've been, like, you always, I always check out games from devs that I used to, that I enjoy previous games. I always check out their next games because, like, some devs just got it. Some devs just got the gift. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. There's a passage behind the wall. Just use a brick to break it. Oh, what's this? Did I read this already? I can't read it. Where the fuck am I? Have you already streamed the Mortuary Assistant? Yeah, it's on YouTube. I played it several times. I played it two times all the way through. And I made like three videos on it. I want to play it again though, because they had a they have an, a Halloween update or something. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Like, I know I'm supposed to go. Oh, vent. We vent! I can open this ventilation grate with a screw screwdriver. Okay, so screwdriver. We need to break the wall. We can't rotate that. There's whispering over here. Might be something in there, but I need to open... There's a screwdriver. That is sneaky. What the hell? Oh, wait, but I have a flashlight. I should just look with the flashlight. Anyway, whatever. Uh, now I can open the vent, and I can... Uh... I can be sus. No. Here we go. More true assistant Halloween update is so good. It is? Let's go. Uh, I don't think I can go through this. Oh. The steam prevents you from picking up the sledgehammer. Are you serious? Oh, we gotta grab the wheel. Thank you. This is log, need a key. Right, we're going back. I know where to put this. I already saw this. We gotta put it right over here. What? There you go. <laughs> and now we rotate. Now we can go, just back and forth, real quick. I hope he'll, I'll stream met metaphysical soon. We will. I still got to shoot some more, uh, more ghosts in that game. We need to exercise some ghosts with the katana and stuff. That's a big sledgehammer. Can't open that door, but I know where to use this. We can break down the door, and we could probably break down the lock too. I feel, but whatever. Smash it. Just a, that sounded so weak. Oh, there we go. Still, such such a weak block. Sounds like you're... What the fuck? Sounded like you 
like tore down a Lego castle or something. <laughs> Um, there's a fucking mine. I was gonna say creeper all man, but I couldn't do that. And then I did it anyway. Is that... What the fuck? Here, I will need a ladder to climb. Just grab the keys. At least, thank you. Well then, nice to call him. That's Jimmy. I'm scared. Incoming. No. I can open this door now, right? Don't need to break it because I got the keys. I can use the key. What? Keys? Need a ladder to climb there. Do I, oh, I can open this door now. Because there was a door right here. There was a box in the hammer room. Wait, what? Oh. There's notes I can't read. Oh, the box. You're right. But also that door, right? Or not. Or just this box. Uh, what the hell is this? Is it a ladder? Ladder pieces? I cannot open that door. Some garbage. Did I play Hoosh Lila? No, I actually didn't. But I. <laughs> I don't know why this game is actually interesting. You you should go through this game and see when I was actually scared. Because I think a lot of the jump scares in this game have not really been that startling. But like some of the things here has been like truly terrifying. It's like unexpected what is terrifying and what is like. What is just like, I mean, it's definitely startling, but it doesn't like give me the same amount of fear as like walking through a forest and hearing all the creepy sounds in the, in the distance. Is it over here? Yes. It is to grab this, right? Use it. Use the things on this. You could do like a case study on me, on my reactions to this game to figure out. Uh, hello. I see you there. I was... I thought I was going to use it right here to, like, put it in those things. But I guess not? What? I only took one? No, they all- they both disappeared! They- when I picked up one of them, all of them disappeared. Wait, am I insane? Maybe I still need the ladder? Oh. I see. I see. Any ladder? Oh, ladder. Uh-huh. Bottom. Yeah, I took both at one, I'm pretty sure. Now we go. You're right, I took both. Okay, good stuff. What is up here? Aha, uh -huh, thank you. You do it for me. Can I click on the ladder? Yes. We're going up to the attic. What? <laughs> I'm. Oh, out of the out of the ground, out of the hole that we saw. No, not even close. Somewhere completely different. Don't get caught, achievement. I didn't get caught. I've done it. I don't have a flashlight anymore. Why did you drop your flashlight as you were climbing? you were climbing out of this? I don't understand. Oh, there's another one. Why? Why didn't you just keep the flashlight from before? Take the bell in the phone booth to save the progress of the game. Excuse me. Oh, the clown's gonna be here. Wait, it's a fucking clown with the hammer. <laughs> Excuse me? It's find yourself. What? I'm saving the game. That means I can die now. Uh oh. Clown time. 
Where are you at? I remember the clown could get stuck on so many places. It was hilarious. Well, there he is. Oh, I remember this actually. You have to get the item from the head of the <laughs> mannequin. Wait, what the fuck? I'm back in time. Get it. Yes. Oh boy. I'm looping you. I'm looping you and you don't even know it. Get fucked. And then we go over here. In here? What's in here? Haha. Uh -huh. There are not enough details? What do you mean? It's a slot machine. Oh, I need a handle. But I got the knife. He's gonna kill me. I remember there's a crowbar in one of these carts. I think so. If I remember correctly. I can't go this way. Can't watch. People are afraid of clowns. There he comes. I gotta go away. Oh. Come on, you fucking shit. I'm getting stuck. Can I go over here? I cannot go up there. Okay, I gotta stay away from you. You are going that way. Perfect. I am going this way. There was a large box. Where? Oh, maybe here? We can rotate it? No, we can't. Yeah, this one is definitely much longer, which I, I like. I, I, I think he might have gone for a longer game because remember... Oh, there's a box. Because remember how I said that the, the dev had problems with people refunding their games because they played it for less than two hours? And then he was like, well, I'll show you a game that's longer than two hours. And I don't, it doesn't feel like filler at all. Like, it doesn't feel like it's just been needlessly padded to reach the two hour mark. Which I was a little afraid of. Um, can I save here as well? Yes, I can. Nice. That's why the dialogues are so slow. <laughs> okay, true. <laughs> Gotta go over there. No. Go, 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 go. This clown is stupid as hell. Now use it on this wheel. But I still need to get the... I still need to get the slot handle, right? I can't do it yet. But I can put the wheel in. Okay, I need to find the handle too. Got a goofy hammer? Yeah, he does. Goofy hammer man. And he also is blind. Because he doesn't see me right now for some reason. I'm gonna go over here because I haven't been here yet. This was not the same thing you did in the other game. Oh. Don't you dare find me. Uh huh. No, oh, those are just giant things. I'm just. Why am I behind you? I don't think I'm supposed to be here. At least he doesn't see me. Um. Can you push me? Wait, you just get stuck on me? I can push you? Holy shit, you're about to go insane. Woo! Boing! Wait, what the fuck? Boing! <laughs> that does not look healthy. Whee! Okay, I gotta be careful though, so the clown doesn't find me. Oh, we can go underneath here, we can hide? Nope, we can't. <laughs> Where's the clown? He's all the way back there, I'm fine. Okay, now where the hell did we get the slot machine handle? Don't you see me? Back here, maybe? I don't know, man. Did we turn on this machine? They're not flashed. I'd be sneaky. Dies by playing with the swing. It's got to be up in the... He doesn't see me, right? It's got to be up there. Uh-oh. Um, I think he saw me. How? No. No! Okay, he lost me. <laughs> He's so stupid. Back here, maybe? Oh, that's where I saved. Didn't I already get this, though? Maybe over here. Uh-huh. Coins. I need those to play the slot machine. Now I just need the handle, and I'm good. Did I go down there? I cannot. I'm just floating. Probably copyrighted music. Oh, maybe in this, uh, in this thing. 
Is he just chilling? Where is this guy? Oh, this. Oh. Oh, he's walking over there. Um, I'm confused. What's the last item I need? Like, where is it? Another machine to put the coins in? No, I'm, th I'm guessing we gotta put the coins in the slot machine. I think we just gotta find the handle. Maybe up here? Oh, we can actually go here this time. I remember we couldn't go there last time. Can I go in this? We cannot. Come on, man. I wanted to take a ride. They go fast, though. Seems dangerous. I can't go down there. I remember some of the items in this game were incredibly sneaky. There was a soda machine? Okay, maybe we do put it in somewhere else. Um, Soda machine? Do you remember where it was? Was it the back? What? What is here? Oh, that's the house. That's where we uh, did the whole rest of the game. At the start, like, we go back. Find the building I came out of. Aha. Oh, oh my god, I would have never... I would have never even gone here. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's time to go play on the slot machine. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. That's not soda, my friend. Is the clown gone? I think he might be. No more clown. Ah, never mind, there's a clown! What the fuck? Are you just stuck there? What are you doing? Go away! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, no. No. No, I broke the game! No, I broke the game! I'm stuck! Can you kill me? No, kill me, please. I'm stuck. I, I fucked it. I fucked up, man. I'm stuck! Ah! Clown, end my suffering. Please, come here. I broke the game. I've done it again. Can you hit me, please? Come on. Clown, here. I'm right here. I'm right behind you! What the fuck? <laughs> How did I do this? Why am I like this? All right, well, I guess I click load game. I mean, we... we it better load the last bell ring, because that's only, like, we only grab the coins. Yes, let's go. All right, we just got to grab the coins, and then we're good. We really didn't do anything. And now the clown might be reset, so we can... No, 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 don't see me. Yes, okay. Now the clown is not longer stuck in that area where we gotta go. But we do have to go where he is. Uh, please go the other way. Don't you dare follow me. Ah, I'm fucked! Okay, I can run. You know what? I got a plan. I'm faster than you. What if I do this? Okay, never mind. You're just stupid. The clown is not that dangerous. He's just... He's just a... He's just a nice guy. He's just misunderstood. Are you gonna be waiting there? Are you gonna camp me? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? It's so funny, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna go save right now. Am I gonna so- Oh. Am I gonna soft lock myself? There's no way they keep the clown in the same spot, right? If I reload, the clown's gonna reset. So let's just save. And then we have the thing, and now we gotta go play the slot machine. He is... Back there! Okay, perfect. He's gone back to normal. He lost me. The clown is Phil, yes, I think. Okay. I mean, he can't hear you if you run, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to leave. I don't know why I want to play the slot machine, but I really fucking do. Also, it's you guys again. Oh, boy. What is it going to do? I put all the things in. Yes. Okay. Play. I did not win. All that for just losing. We have one more try. One more try. Go on. This is... 
This is not... This is not representative for real gambling. <laughs> there is no way you'd win that fast. These machines are rigged as hell. Uh, I have a key. I'm gonna get banned from Twitch. Didn't the Twitch... <laughs> the, the slot mach... Oh, God. The slot machine ban has gone in, which is great, by the way. Oh, the basement key. So now I go all the way back. Wait. That was... I remember we climbed... Like, back in the other game, we were there. And then we climbed out of some basement. And then we entered the the clown area. Um, they ban slots, but not sports betting. Who the fuck... It's stupid, but who the fuck watches sports betting? Who the fuck even watches sports to begin with? Can I touch this? Cosmic Nine, thank you for the four months. Elvin Chi, thank you for the eleven months. Okay, is it back here? Can we go back down now? Wait, there. Yes. Let's go. This is the the door to leave, right? I can't believe they actually brought back that clown area. I mean, they already had it, so they might as well. <laughs> Uh, wait, no, I'm... What? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I'm confused as hell. What is happening? What in the fuck? The ball? I clicked on the ball to do anything. Excuse! I gotta click earlier, I think. What the fuck? <laughs> what? What, what, what? <laughs> Excuse me. Um. That happened. <laughs> okay. I do go continue down here, right? <laughs> I'm, uh, blown away. Okay, we're back here. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, hi there. You guys are blocking the way. Now, I go all the way back. Never mind, I go all the way in here. There were boxes here blocking the way last time. Don't lie to me, Walt. I've I see you. Um, it's just food. I don't have a flashlight anymore. Why do I keep losing my flashlight, you dumbass? What is this noise? Mm. Can I click anything? Oh, there's a vent! Don't tell me I'm gonna be stuck in darkness now, please. No, no, no. We're sus. Oh boy. What have we done? I hear crying. The key, the key unlocks. I'm coming to save you. There's snacks here. You just eating snacks? <gasps> Did I just electrocute the child? What? Uh, I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> Excuse me. What? There's a closet here? Oh, there's something. A crowbar again. Do I break down the closet? I do. That, you're not even trying. What the hell? Hey man, calm down. I'm here to, I'll help you out. Is the a video cam? There's no video cam. How did he film this? I'm coming to help you. How though? Do I have the key to unlock the door? No, I don't. Fuck. What the heck, man? This is fucked up! Uh. Can I just break it? Th who? This is Peter? I can't open it. Oh, there's the key. 
Give me the keys. Yes. Poor kid. The kid we played. What? How did the find yourself game end? I forget. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil hit the information about where he hit them. Maybe I should try again. I'm sure I can find them. What? Excuse? Incomplete ending? No, here we go. Right now, it is not necessary. We are at an impasse again. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that... Otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Ending one? Or next game? I think it's re it's more likely to be next game than ending one. Because if, if it's ending one, it's basically just a continuation of the pre... Like... There we go. I don't... Because it didn't seem like there were any choices along the way so far. Some places never let go. Usually when a game doesn't have any, like, different ways of playing it, it's just like a linear game. There's no multiple endings. Said I thank you for the two months. Oh, we're Phil again. We're not done here yet. The boy, his name was Peter. He was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I wanted to save him from this world. So who did we just free? That was... Jonathan was us. Who did we just free? Was it... I forget. Was it Peter? It wasn't Peter, right? Was it Peter? Then why are we still talking about Peter? Are we not gonna look for the other children? Are you starting to remember what you did? It was Peter. Okay. What? Am I gonna leave? Oh, the flashlight again. You know the drill. The flashlight doesn't work. Peter Parker. Phil is the clown. Yeah, we're Phil right now. Also, that's the time. That's the time right now. It's the real world, baby. No flashlight run. Um, My order has arrived. We're in a time loop. Oh, Jesus Christ, you fuck. What am I- What I'm doing is not real. There's no time machine. But where is the reality in which everyone is happy? I'm confused. I can't take it anymore. This is PT. Yes. It's PT, Outlast, all the other previous games, and every other horror game combined. I brought friends for him and bought a lot of toys- Brought a lot of toys and food. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad. And he was happy. I did everything for this. The other kids were misbehaving and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns! You've been silent for 20 years and you still think you're innocent. Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. What the fuck? We have reached an impasse again. We are starting another reboot of, of the system. We're going deeper. We have to go deeper. I have to fix it. I'll tell you everything. Excuse me. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. Weren't that three children? It's like John Wayne Gacy. Basically, it seems. They're trying to parody, or not parody, but like reference that. He moved the bodies many times, trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. So we found Peter. Peter lived. Okay, that's why he didn't die. And the other children were buried under the caravan? During the investigation, the pilot project Golden Egg was involved. Thanks to that, we got recognition from Harris. Like, we went... This is, like, Inception for real. <laughs> Excuse me. 
In the Golden Egg, we discover that Phil, su Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disor disorder. His mind divided into two different people. What the fuck? Peter lived, that's why he can't die. It didn't die, true. The depressed Phil, who withdrew himself, thinking that he could prevent the death of his family and the dominant personality of the clown, who had not manifested himself since childhood. I really gotta play Find Yourself again to truly understand the story. Because in Find Yourself, you play as Peter then, right? It must be. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children was were hidden. Yes? The real Phil! Ah, I see. Okay. So, this is an insane game, by the way. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those families. So, the guy has pr multiple personality disorder. The clown was the murderer. And the when they put them in the machine, the real Phil helped the people find Peter as well as the bodies. Okay. Holy shit. This was a... A complete departure from the Jesus Christ music? <laughs> Excuse me? Bro, I'm gonna turn it on the volume real quick. Uh, that was a departure from the previous games by like a long shot. Because all the other games, like Summer of 58 also had a story, but I gotta be honest, all of the stories have completely like since like kind of escaped me, at least the details of them, which I guess some of the details here might also escape me. But in terms of like he kind of like build up a cinematic universe and then used all his previous games to create this game which i think is a really clever idea and he made it longer this time no more uh, i mean obviously you shouldn't refund the game if you finish it anyway that's ridiculous uh or like if you finish it and enjoy it uh which is weird that that was ever a problem but yeah i'm glad to see you still kicking emika games and that they made another game which i very much enjoyed a great game uh, i think the thing with games like this people are always going to be like wait that's the ending it's just a slideshow of uh of stuff with some text underneath it explaining the story like what do you expect how could you really create people always hate endings i don't think they're like endings nine times out of ten people always hate them because the game ends <laughs> like the gameplay that was more involving ends with usually some dialogue dump a little bit and there's just no other way to really like tie a story together because if you don't have the budget for like huge cutscenes or like a whole like uh uh pr epilogue section like how are you really gonna tie it all together very cleanly so yeah i i, I don't really mind that myself uh it's just a way you got to do an ending for an indie game but anyway that oh Operator, Jonathan didn't find Sergeant Henry. Oh, here we go. What are we going to do? We're back. I forgot about this. Do not disconnect it from the system. I'll find something to tell the police. Excuse me? It's not over yet? What? Maybe there's an epilogue. <laughs> Henry, I'm in this place again. So now, this is the guy we were playing as in the very beginning, who went into the machine for the initially the golden egg machine or or whatever uh and he got stuck you got a flashlight hi hi there friends like what they did here exactly like what they did here it's gonna end with a teaser for the next game i'm telling you time for inscription yeah i am gaming thinking about the prime um can i go through could I go through, please? Um, hello? Hey, the clown is right there. He's chilling. Hello, Mr. Clown. Oh, no. I hate that. That's 10 times more scary than any clown. Can we go through? There's a child. What that bike. Um, I'm stuck. We go this way. This is open now. This was not open before. Hi. Your head is removed. The way of the mannequins. Uh, that mannequin looks a little extra fucked up. Oh, it's a lady. Why? What? Also, that looks kind of terrifying. Taking a screenshot. 
Ring the bell? I can die now? Oh no, I take the bell. And the coin. Thank you. Good shot. Goodbye, lady. Oh. That is a motto I haven't seen before in other games, by the way. This one? I don't know if that was, like, edited for this game. Uh, can you stop walking around? I don't like it here. Uh-oh, what the fuck? Uh, don't go in the bathtub? What? Excuse me? Wait, this, uh, kid! It's the lady again from the very beginning? The girl? Wait, I'm stuck. We gotta go back. No, we gotta go here. The fairy wheel. The other child? But the children were already dead, no? Hello? That was the child from the very beginning. Hello? What the fuck? Not the train again! No, I hit it here! I remember the train. Uh-oh. Henry is crying? The music? Why is he crying? The music is too good, man. Stranger Things music. You okay? Why are you crying? My friend. I'm... Conf my emotions are in con conflict. Am I stuck forever? Am I supposed to find a key here? Because I remember there were so many puzzles in this train. Oh, there. There's a train ticket. My guy, you'll be okay. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Am I supposed to wait for the music to fade out? Uh, I'm trying to PT here, walking back and forth. Seeing if stuff changes, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Sergeant Henry got locked in Phil's fucking mind forever? That's rude. He was just trying to help. Okay, so I think I actually fully understand the story, or like at least the, the great lines of it. You had the guy, let me turn it, I mean, I guess I could just turn it out in-game. Uh, you had the, the killer who was crazy. I think that's just like crazy in like, because of the multiple personalities. One of them was a serial killer who kidnapped children as a clown and then killed them, which is fucking insane, obviously. Uh, and then he got captured and he was put in the machine in order to figure out where the children were. Someone was sent into the brain. The first person got stuck in the brain, which was actually permanently stuck by or permanently captured by the, the e evil part of the mind of Phil. And then the other one, the, the actually managed to get the location of Jonathan and the bodies. And thus Jonathan was saved. The bodies were found. And I think that's the end of the story. So yeah, there you go. Much more story driven this time than any of their previous games. Uh, highly recommend if you uh, enjoyed or watch wanna get scared again, you can watch uh, Summer of 58. I think Summer of 58 was my second favorite. That game really scared the shit out of me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Uh, definitely great to see MK games still kicking. Uh, I'm gonna be looking forward to their next game. And I will be checking that out as well. Uh, so you'll be seeing that on the YouTube when it does come out. Let me know what you thought. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash NSIM. Every single day at 7 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys. Bye, YouTube.